Lately, there have been many changes in the counseling department, from two of the behavioral health specialists leaving, to grade counselors leaving and coming in. To the dean of the class of 2026, Mr. Anderson, these changes have not gone unnoticed. So, what is in store for the counseling department? There's been a lot of changes um, that have taken place so far this school year. Um, we lost one counselor, we've lost two counselors this school year, um, Mr. Molina and Mrs. Moore. Um, we have replaced those people with Mrs. Buckner, Ms. Buckner, and uh, Mr. Ellis most recently. So we're excited to have Ms. Buckner and Mr. Ellis a part of our team. Um, that looks to be kind of our only changes moving forward as far as the counseling department goes. So we're super excited to have them. As mentioned, two of the behavioral health specialists have left. So here's what has been done in the process of getting new hires. Um, so our admin team has been interviewing um, candidates for that. They've had interviews the last couple weeks. We do think we have found some qualified uh, candidates, so we're super excited to hopefully get them hired as soon as we can. While the counselors have left for their own reasons, from just getting a different job in education to leaving the education sector completely, Mr. Anderson believes it's their personal values that are responsible for these changes. But, as the saying goes, out with the old and in with the new, there's a new counselor to be introduced, Mr. Ellis. Well, I've got a little bit of experience. Um, I know, you know some of the team are a little bit newer, um, and that's something I've seen at a lot of different high schools too. So, you know, hopefully I, you know, I bring some knowledge from other schools um, of different sizes. I've worked at schools in you know, different locations and different sizes, and so I can see, you know, what are some things that we do here um, that maybe we can change or some things that you know, I could benefit from that Whiteland have been doing, um, you know, and how they address and meet student needs and things like that. Another change that has taken place is the fact that there have been office changes and where the grade level teams are located. So students, listen up, because this definitely applies to you. So the counselors for every grade are located in the main building in the guidance office. Um, and then as far as deans go, the 10th and 12th grade deans are now located in the admin hallway up by the front office. And then 9th and 11th grade deans are still in the north building. Both Ms. Buckner and Mr. Ellis agree that their jobs as counselors are to provide support academically and even outside the classroom and to make sure students are on track to graduate. The counselors do this already for our students. However, there are some improvements that can be made. I think uh, I think we need to move, make sure that our communication with our students and our families are improved upon. So I think um, with Ms. Buckner and, and Mr. Ellis coming in, kind of new new faces, I think they're going to do a really good job with that communication piece and hopefully reaching out to families and, and kind of getting kids to understand and students to what they need to do to be successful beyond high school.